Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very good news to share with you all and also I have a bit of bad news also but keeping the bad part aside, first let's start with the good part. So AMD has finally unveiled their fifth generation of APUs, you know the 5000 G series APUs that a lot of people have been like eagerly waiting for. And you know today in this video I'll be sharing like complete details about these brand new APUs like uh, what's new on them, like how much performance improvement is there, the official availability and all the these details. So guys, basically in the 5000G series now, AMD has unveiled like two lineup of uh, APUs. First is the G series and then we've got the GE series. The G is the regular lineup that has like 65 watts of TDP, whereas the GE is a power efficient variant of the same APU. That means, you know, they'll be having a less TDP of around 35 watts only. Keeping that aside, these 5000G series APUs are based on the same Zen 3 architecture only, just as your usual 5000 series APUs. They're based on 7 nanometer process and feature Radeon built-in graphics, you know, the Vega 6, 7 and Vega 8 built-in graphics. See guys, because of this whole GPU mining and, you know, GPU crisis going on, the current GPU prices are like ridiculously inflated and I would advise you to not to buy any GPUs right now at this moment because you'll be at a loss because you'll be wasting a lot of unnecessary amount spending higher than what it was actually priced at. So I would advise you to wait if you're actually buying a new PC or invest on these sort of APUs and get your job done at the moment and when the GPU prices will return back to normal that time maybe you can buy your brand new GPU so that is the whole concept that I would advise you to go with right now in this current situation. Coming back to the topic let me tell you about the different APU models that AMD has unveiled. I've told you right you're basically having six different APU models three of them are the G series regular lineup and then you've got three GE lineup of APUs which are like the lower and power efficient variant so basically only TDP is difference and clock speeds are also a bit lower on the GE edition. I'll tell you only about the G series. So in the G series we've got uh, Ryzen 3, 5 and 7. Finally you're getting a Ryzen 7 APU as well this time. So in the Ryzen 3 you've got Ryzen 3 5300G which comes with built-in Vega 6 graphics. This is a 4 core 8 thread APU with a base clock frequency of 4 GHz and a max boost clock frequency of 4.2 GHz. So this is like the most budget friendly brand new 5000 G series APU available right now. Going next, you've got the Ryzen 5 variant, guys, the Ryzen 5 5600G, which comes with built-in Vega 7 graphics. This is a 6-core 12-thread APU with a base clock frequency of 3.9 GHz and a max boost clock frequency of 4.4 GHz. This is the mid-tier APU. And lastly, you've got the high-end and powerful APU, guys, the much-awaited one, Ryzen 7 series, the Ryzen 7 5700G, which comes with built-in Vega 8 graphics. This is an 8-core 16-thread APU with a base clock frequency of 3.8 GHz and a max boost clock frequency of up to 4.6 GHz. And AMD is calling this particular model as the world's fastest desktop APU with built-in graphics. So that is something I'm really looking forward to. But I'm actually a bit disappointed here because see, the graphics that you're getting on this new 5000G series APU is not something new, guys. It's the same old Vega graphics that we've been seeing from the past third generation APUs. AMD has made no major improvements or, you know, design changes in built-in Vega graphics. The only thing is since we've moved from a 12 nanometer architecture to a 7 nanometer process right, what happened is because of this the brand could improve the clock frequencies from 1400 megahertz to 2100 megahertz. Apart from that there is no change in the design or architecture as well. Not to worry you do get a slightly marginal improvement in the performance because of higher clock frequencies. So that was a bit like bummer for me. I was expecting something like competition to the Intel 11th gen Iris XC graphics. Uh, AMD has given us some benchmarks as well like compared to their previous 4th gen APUs as well as Intel 10th gen CPUs. They haven't given any benchmarks compared to Intel 11th gen because 11th gen packs Iris XE which is like quite powerful. So I don't think this will be like equivalent to that and there is no chance of beating this. Again this is something I'll have to test personally and let you guys know. So we'll have to wait for that. So let me just quickly share some benchmarks that AMD has shared for their brand new Ryzen 7 5700G. So AMD is saying that it's almost like 38% faster in terms of content creation compared to Intel's 10th gen i7 10700 and it's also like around 35% faster in terms of productivity and offers an overall 80% faster compute performance. So that is pretty awesome. In terms of graphics, here we are seeing an improvement of around 2.1 to 2.2x performance compared to Intel's 10th gen i7. So guys, basically you can play most of the AAA title games at 1080p resolution. 
resolution low graphics without any sweat you'll easily get around like 30 to 40 fps again that is something amd is claiming and if you talk about uh, competitive esport games you'll easily get 70 to 80 fps without any sweat so these are the basic benchmarks that we are having an idea right now I'll let you know about the exact performance in real world once I get my hands on them. So that is pretty much it guys, our complete information right now available on AMD's brand new 5000 G series APUs. So that was about the good part, but at the beginning I've told you that there's a bit of bad news also, right? Thing is just like the fourth gen APUs, even these 5000 series uh, APUs are right now not available to the regular customers or usual general audience guys. You can't buy them. These are available officially only for OEMs at the moment, but not to worry amd is also planning to bring them to the regular market for us customers also so that we can buy them but that is happening at a later part of the year not sure because they haven't mentioned the exact date or anything but my guess if you ask me i would say that these will be available mostly 2022 only guys at the beginning of the next year so you'll have to wait for this and if you ask about the pricing, pricing information is also not there guys, AMD has not revealed any pricing information for any of the 5000 G series APUs, you'll have to wait for all these information. So that's it guys, this is what I wanted to share with you all. Let me know if you're actually building a PC right now or will you wait for these new APUs? What is your plan? Like what are you guys doing? In the comment section down below, I'd really love to read your comments. If you all enjoyed this video and got to learn a lot, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.